a passage. There's so much truth and goodness. Thank you. Thank you. So today I want to unpack a little bit of what we didn't get to talk about on Sunday. A bit about... Uh, do I want to keep going? I can start back. Hi, my name is Andrew Skibby. I had the honor of bringing the message this last week. And this past Sunday, we talked about God's love. We were in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. And we really narrowed in on Romans 5, 8. It's one of the most famous uh, verses in the Bible about God's love talking about how God showed his love for us while we were still sinners and Christ died for us. And there's so much packed into those verses that I couldn't have possibly gone through all of it. I would have been there for hours. So we saved a little bit to talk about today. Now, we really focused on God's love and what it means to us and how big, and we just looked at the magnitude of the love that God showed towards us, but we didn't really get a lot of takeaway. We didn't talk about what do we do with God's love. I wanted to set it up so that at the end of the service, we had a song and people could reflect and worship and rejoice in God's love. So today I want to talk a little bit about what we can do and how we can take that love out uh, into the world. So when we think about God's love, it really impacts every aspect of our life. There are a thousand different applications we could come up with for how God's love impacts our lives. But one of the things I wanted to look at today is how we can show love in our lives like God showed love to us. Now, let's be clear right at the beginning. We will never be able to show love in the same way God did. His love is far greater, deeper, and wider than we can ever possibly imagine. But there are little bits of ways that we can start to love like Christ did in our lives. So think about the passage. Christ died for us while we were still sinners. So he didn't come to die for the righteous. He came to die for the sinners. And in the same way, when we show our lives, you think about who is it that we're showing it to? The people who need it the most. See, Christ showed his love for us while we were sinners and while we were messy and, and sloppy and things were not going right. And it was not a convenient time for him. And in the same way, we have people in our lives who are, are messy and floppy and it may not be convenient to show our love at a certain time, but that's how Christ showed his love for us. So think about who it is that you have in your life. Do you typically keep the, the well put together and clean cut people around, the people who don't have any issues or problems? Is that who you surround yourself with and, and show your love towards? Or do you find yourself going towards the outcast, the sinner, the people who other people aren't drawn towards? So Christ was drawn towards sinners and in the same way we should be too. Now that's not saying that uh, you have to go find uh, the worst person you can and that has to be your new best friend because everybody in your life is going to go through times where they are messy and hard to love and inconvenient. So are you there for the people around you, especially in the times where they're struggling, where they're having challenges or it's inconvenient to show love to them? So God's love came to us in that way and one of the things that his love does for us is it frees us to be able to love because later in our passage it talked about how god justifies it was by the blood of jesus that all of this happened so we can show love to others but we know that it is an act of god that saves so we show the love of christ to people and we aren't responsible for for their salvation or their spiritual growth that's what god does and so in that, we are free to, to love indiscriminately and as big and, and lavishly as we possibly can, emulating God and his crazy deep love that he showed to us. And we can do that in freedom, knowing that the results of showing love in the world are in God's hands. And that way, I just encourage you to think about who is in your life. Who's somebody that maybe you haven't reached out to recently? Maybe somebody that you can think of in your mind at, at your work or, or your friend group or your family who may not be the one who gets the most amount of love shown towards them. And would you think about how you could reach out and make contact or do something to serve that person, the person who is maybe unlovable or hard to love at this point in time? So think about where you were when you met Christ and when you first encountered his love. Remember, Ephesians tells us that we were dead in our trespasses and sin. So there's nobody that is too far gone and 
and too sloppy and too messy for us to show love towards. And I just encourage you again, think about that. Spend some time, pray and ask God, have him show you who it is that he would have you demonstrate that Christ-like love towards. And then go out and in the freedom of Jesus, show that love. Thanks.